Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Today I am solving the second midterm examination 2020 paper for Sekhar IB University. Uh, I observed something like I was used solving this question when I saw this question and I have so many like uh, examination paper from Sekhar IB University. And I found one thing is the matrices, it's not same as you are doing from additional math book. Let's see, let me solve this and I will explain this. What is the difference? It's like uh, how many things are not in that math books, additional math books. So you have to do something extra. So let's start with question number one, part one. It is also written here without expansion. Without expansion means we have to use properties of determinant. The properties of determinants, we have so many properties and these properties are not uh, like in additional mass book. So properties of 3 by 3 matrices, 3 by 3 or the squared matrix. So let's start. First one thing is for this, like this row 1, this R2 and R3, like 3 rows are there. And the first thing what I'm doing here, I'm doing like R1 plus R2 and R1 plus R3. I want to add this R2 with R1. So what will be happening? And is also given this R1 is also added by R3. It means these two terms, this like this row and this row will be added to the first one. So A minus B plus B minus C plus C minus A. We have added like and same thing we are doing here. And what I'm doing here, I'm writing here that we are doing R1 plus R3 and R1 plus R2. So let's start. Uh, B minus C, B minus C plus C minus A, sorry, C minus A plus A minus B, we have done. Then C minus A plus I have to add A minus B and plus B minus C and this is one property and just we need to write the other rows like uh, as it is we have to write we cannot do anything now it's very simple just copy and we have to show that uh, and we have considered left hand side so left hand side means we are talking about this side and we have to prove that is coming zero and this we have to write A minus B and B minus C. So when you simplify this part, you can see that A is cancelled by A, C is cancelled by C, B is cancelled by B. So this term is coming 0. So this, this here is also coming 0. And C, C cancel, B, B cancel, A, A cancel is coming 0, 0, 0. 0, 0 and 0 and B minus C, C minus A. C minus A, A minus B, A minus B and B minus C. So without expansion, I did not use the determinant method to expand this. I use the properties. And when this is a one of the property, when any complete row or column, row or column is like all the elements are elements are 0 like this one is complete 0 then the determinant will be the determinant will be exactly 0 so that means we have to write is coming 0 and it's shown we do not need to expand now it's completely we have done it so this is one property now uh, second thing for this part uh, if I do uh, like question number two of the first part let's see what we do what we can do now okay this part i'm doing one thing when i have how uh, we have also one more property when when in any of the determinant three of three by three square matrix if this is like suppose two 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 two, two and one two three or one two five when two rows are equal, then it is also equal to zero. This is the second property and I have to use this now. Okay, let's see. Okay, when I have this matrix, 
what I can do, I can divide, like there are so many properties and there is nothing in additional mathematics book, these properties of 3 by 3 matrix, that's my question actually for the zero semester students, that's how you can do this type of question when this, these type of questions are not in additional mathematics book, let's start. Uh, this raw one, this right R1, what I am doing, I am dividing uh, the R1 by R1 by like divide R1 by A, B, C because when I divide with A, B, C, this you can see one thing. Uh, B, C and B, C cancel, we will have A upon B, let's see what will be happening. B, C. C A and A B. So when I divide this by A B C, so I write A B C, A B C, A B and C. And the other things I just need to copy. Because when you divide, uh, you have to also multiply to balance. And this is the property actually. And uh, maybe you will understand. And I have to copy A cube, B cube, C cube, and I consider the left hand side once again. And 1 upon A, 1 upon B, 1 upon C. Okay, let me simplify now. Uh, the result of this part is coming B, C, B, C cancelled 1 upon A. I'm writing here. Here I write A cube, B cube. C cube and when you divide this is coming 1 upon A is coming 1 upon B and B A B A B cancel is coming 1 upon C and I have to copy this 1 upon A 1 upon B and 1 upon C this is a property when two complete rows or columns are equal then determinant is equals to 0 the 0 so now what I have to write here is coming 0 here and that's shown Oh, my question is that uh, we have done this question number one by using not the expansion method, like using some properties of 3 by 3 matrix. Just ask your teachers, ask in the university, this, uh, do we have to learn all the properties of 3 by 3 determinant or not? Because when they ask to do everything from the additional mathematics book, that means this topic is not in additional mathematics book. So if they say yes, this you have to do this topic. So I will make a, a video with like these questions and I will upload. So thank you so much and have a nice day.